Hi everyone, it's Nadia from Yarn Utopia. I just wanted to show you what we're going to make today. This is the rag that we are going to make, the dishcloth. You can use this for dishes, for face washing, for wiping down surfaces, pretty much anything. We're going to use cotton yarn today. I'll get you uh, all the supplies here. So this is the label. This is the kind of yarn I'm using. Okay, so you can see the color. Um, I'm using peaches and cream cotton yarn. It's 100% cotton, worsted weight, four ply. So you can see that here. And I'm using um, one skein, so approximately 95 yards. And the color that I have is called Good Earth. So if you want to use the same color, you can use your own colors, you know, different colors making this. Um, so this is just a label of this yarn. And for hook size, we are going to use a G hook, which is 4.25 millimeters, so get that handy, as well as a yarn needle for sewing in our ends, and a scissors for cutting our yarn. So those are all the supplies. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel here on YouTube. Make sure to uh, check out the links in the description of this video. I'll have the pattern, um, the link to the pattern on my website, yarnutopia.com. I'll have the link to my website and a link to my Facebook page so you can join uh, my Facebook page. And if you want to, share a picture of your work if you make this dish cloth. I'd love to see it and we can all admire your creativity. So let's just get started. All right, to get started, we need to make a slip knot. So put the short end over the long end, fold that down, and pull that up. And pull tight, insert your hook, and we're ready to go. So now um, the first few, the first, I guess, two rows are the most difficult. They were the most difficult for me, so I suggest chaining loosely. Um, chain 38 so yarn over and pull through that's one chain two three four five so just continue chaining until you have 38 chains and I'll meet you up when I have my 38 chains okay so now I chained my 38 here this is what it looks like and we need to single crochet into the second chain from the hook so the loop that's on your hook never counts as anything so you count one and two and we're gonna go in that one but what I usually do we're looking at our chain like this but what I usually do is turn my chain toward me like this and I work in these back ridges right here just like that okay so go into the second chain go into this back ridge right here for a single crochet so insert your hook yarn over pull through and then yarn over and pull through the both loops that are on your hook that's a single crochet now we're going to chain one and then we're going to skip this next chain but we will be working on it in row two so just skip that chain for now and then go into this next chain here for a single crochet Okay, then chain one, and then skip this next chain, go into this next chain for a single crochet. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through both loops. Then chain one, and we're just doing this all the way across. Skip that chain, go into the next chain for a single crochet, then chain one, then skip this next chain, go into this next chain here for a single crochet, then chain one. So you kind of get the pattern now. So I'm just going to do that all the way across and I'll meet you up when we go on to row number two. Okay, so I'm just going to single crochet into the last chain here and going on to row number two. Now we need to chain up one. Now row number two, we are going to single crochet into this first single crochet here, just where we chained up one in. So just insert your hook right into that stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through both loops. Now in this chain one space, we're not working in the chain one space, we're going to work into the chain, our foundation chain, okay? So we're not going right into the space, we're going into our stitch that we skipped, our chain that we skipped, we're going to go into there. 
Okay, so that is why I said earlier that it was going to be a little difficult to get into there. So there we go. Go into there and make sure you go through the whole piece. Okay, then yarn over and pull through. Yarn over, pull through two loops. And then yarn over and pull through two loops. So that's a double crochet. So we're double crocheting into those into those chains. I'll show you again in this single crochet next, we're just going to single crochet. So just insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Now in this next chain one space, in all the chain one spaces, you're gonna yarn over, go into the chain from the foundation row. Okay, make sure you go through the piece, then yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over pull through two loops and then yarn over and pull through the last two loops okay then single crochet into the single crochet okay now we're at the next chain one space so yarn over go into the chain from the foundation row all the way through then yarn over and pull through yarn over pull through two loops and yarn over and pull through two loops Okay, next we're in the single crochet, so you just single crochet in there. So just insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops. Now we're at the next chain one space, so yarn over for a double crochet. Go into that chain from the foundation row, like that, all the way through. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. Okay, then we're just single crochet and the next single crochet and then double crochet into the next uh, chain one space in the foundation row or the chain from the foundation chain just like that. So you kind of get the pattern now. So just do that all the way across and then I'll meet you up when we go on to row number three. All right, we're just going to single crochet in the last single crochet of this row. Now going on to, um, what is it, row three? Yes, <laughs> row three. We are going to chain up one, and now this is going to be our repeat row. So chain one, and turn your work. So now we're looking at it like this. And single crochet into this first single crochet here. Okay, and you see there's our double crochet next right here. So we're just going to chain one and skip over that double crochet. Then we're going to single crochet in this single crochet here. Then chain one, skip this double crochet stitch and just single crochet in the next single crochet. Then chain one, skip the double crochet here and go right into the single crochet for a single crochet. So this row is super easy. It's just single crochet chain one, skip a stitch, single crochet, chain one, skip a stitch. That's basically all it is. So this row is very fast and then I'll just meet you up then to go on to row one, two, three, four. <laughs> row four. All right, so I'm just finishing up row three here. Just gonna single crochet in the last stitch there. Okay, now chain one and turn your work, going on to row four. Now row four is also a repeat row, so we're just going, we chained up one and turned our work. Now we are going to single crochet in this first single crochet here. And now in this chain one space, we are going to do a double crochet into the double crochet from row two, so from the previous row before this previous row, so down here. So yarn over, go into this stitch here. So this is our extended double crochet. So we're going into row two here, into this double crochet, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Then just single crochet in the next single crochet. Okay, now we have to do our next du extended double crochet. So yarn over, go into you see this chain one space here, we're going to go into the double crochet beneath it. So right in there, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Then single crochet in the next single crochet, 
and then double crochet in the next, or extended double crochet in the next double crochet from the previous row, from row two. Okay? So we're not double crocheting into the chain one space, we're double crocheting into the stitch right beneath it. Okay, the one we skipped. So then single crochet in the next single crochet, and then double crochet into the stitch beneath this row. Okay, just like that. Whoopsie. Single crochet, and then double crochet. So just do that all the way across. So, and then you want to then repeat, the next row will be a repeat of row three, and then the row after that will be a repeat of row two, or I'm sorry, row four. So you'll repeat rows three and four for the rest of this pattern. And at the end of this row, I'll get you going on to the next row five so that you know how to move on in this pattern and then I'll let you be to go do your own thing. Alright, so I just single crocheted in the last stitch here. Now chain up one, turn your work, and now this is repeating row three. So just single crochet in the first stitch, chain one, skip this next stitch, single crochet in the next stitch. So you know how to do this, so just if you have to, rewind this segment to learn about row three. And then after this row, you're going to repeat row four. So row three and four, you're going to repeat until you finish uh, so rows, let's see, we're on row 5 right now, so row 5 to row 32, we are repeating this uh, section, so repeat rows 3 and 4. Okay, so I'll just meet you up when I finish row 32, and I'll show you how to uh, finish this project. We're going to crochet a single crochet around the whole thing, and then we'll be done. Alright, so I'm just finishing row 32 here, and if you want to make yours longer, you can. Just make sure that it measures approximately uh, 9 or 10 inches. So mine measures 10 inches approximately. So this is how it looks so far. So I like how the color of the, vari the variation changed in this pattern. It looks very nice. So now we are going to single crochet all the way around this piece. So chain one and turn your work. And now we are just going to insert a single crochet in each stitch. No chaining, no extended double crochets, nothing like that. Just one single crochet all the way around, just like this. So I'm going to single crochet across this row and then I'll get you to the first corner and turn the corner with you and then I'll let you be to the very end of this project. Alright, I'm turning the corner here. So in this last single crochet on this row, we're going to put two single crochet like that. Okay, now we turn onto this side and basically wherever your crochet hook will fit is where you should single crochet down the edge of this so if it's around the stitches around the single crochets um, wherever it fits just single crochet along this edge and then again in the last stitch on this uh, row just put two single crochets to turn the corner. So now you know, and now I'll just meet you up when I finish single crocheting around this entire piece. All right, so I'm just going to single crochet here, and you can make an extra one, because we are in the last corner, and then just insert your hook in the first single crochet you made, yarn over, pull through, and through for a slip stitch, and then to fasten off, I like to just chain up one and cut my yarn and pull that all the way through and pull tight. Okay, so there we go. Now I'll sew in my end real quick. So just yarn your needle. Just like that. And then just go underneath some of the stitches like that okay 
and then stretch it out. Okay, and then cut that. And there you have it, our dishcloth. You can stretch it out and make sure that it is square looking. There we go. So there it is. So now it's great to have this, you know, for facial clean cleansing or, you know, using this for dishwashing or wiping down surfaces, pretty much anything, you know. So Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to my channel here on YouTube. Make sure to check out the links in the description of this video so you can see uh, where the pattern is and where my website is. And join my Facebook also so you can post photos on there of your finished work and we can all admire its beauty. So thanks so much for watching. Happy hooking!